Calculating is hard. Or is it? What if I tell you that with just 8 notes on DaVinci Resolve you can achieve that great cinematic look. So let's dive into DaVinci Resolve to show you how it's done. So let's consider this example. Uh, so let me come to the color tab but before that what you have to do is come to settings and go to color management and you need to have a look at this. Normally this is my settings, uh, some people leave this at uh, color managed and all other things but I like to keep it simple, I leave it at DaVinci YRGB and I use, uh, I tick this one, use separate color space and gamma so I leave the timeline color space to Rec 709 and if you guys have a Mac, uh, leave this to Rec 709A and also in the output color space uh, leave this to rec 709a but if you have a windows change this to gamma 2.4 both of these but since i have a mac i'm going to change this to rec 709a if you want to know more technical about it uh, let me know i will leave other videos which are available on youtube which explains more detail but just to keep in mind that if mac rec 709a if windows gamma 2.4 so once that's done then let's come to your color page so i have left the eight notes right here so these are the only eight notes that you would need uh, i mean if you just want to edit for youtube but if you want to do like more extensive color grading for uh, like some projects that's when you can tweak in and add a couple more notes but for a normal youtube video this is more than enough so let me just quickly able each one and show you how it looks in the end so you'll get the picture on what we are going to do so this is what we have uh, by applying each of these notes without it with it so let's work one by one so I will just tell you my workflow and which you can follow along. So the very first thing that I do is I shoot on my Sony camera and I shoot in S-Log2 but if you are shooting on your phone or any other smartphone you can skip this particular note right here. It's called the color space transform. So what it does is it actually converts this log flat looking picture profile to a standard picture profile that is the rec 709 so in this case i shot at uh, s log 2 so what i do is to apply the cst you come to effects and you can see color space transform you just drag and drop it right here so once you drag and drop it these are the settings which you need to change so the input color space i shot this in sony s gamut 3 cine and the input gamma is Sony S log 2. You have to convert it to Rec 709. And the gamma you need to change it to Rec 709A if you have a Mac. And if you have a Windows, change it to Gamma 2.4. So this is the very first step that I do. I leave this at the fourth node. So what I mean is if I want to adjust exposure and everything, I need to be doing it before the color space transform. So which is why I've left this at the fourth node. So once I set in the color space transform, the very next thing that I do is I fix the white balance. So in order to fix the white balance in this particular case, uh, you click something that is white. So uh, if you, you can manually do it, you know, you can adjust the temperature and tint. But in this case, if you find anything white, you can just pick this tool and drag it here. It will automatically do the white balance for you. So that is the white balance node. And uh, you can also come here, change the waveform to parade. Now you can have a look at this parade, you know. Uh, suppose your image looks something like this. See, it's very warm. You can see that the red is too much. So you can, you know, bring down the reds and you know bring down the greens you know to make it more balancing so this is the white balance node and then i come to the exposure node so this is where i fix the exposure i normally check the waveform here so what i do normally is you know uh, let me just reset this i will look at the graph and if i see that anything is about this particular line i try to bring it down uh, 
because anything above it you know it it's like a loss of data so i'll bring it a little bit down and if anything is going below zero i bring it a little bit up and then look at the overall image you know uh, if i feel it's a bit too dark i bring the mid tones like this not too much but you know like play gently with color grading you know uh, the more you do it the more bad it looks so just subtle uh, okay i've done that one so once your exposure is ready and the next curve that i do is the s curve s curve is basically a nice s curve in order to do that what i recommend is let me just reset this you come here to the graph press this three dots and select editable splines what it does is you select one point and you can you know create the arm which you can raise and similarly i will lift the shadows a little bit and you know create a nice s curve now basically s curve means contrast you know so without it with it you know it adds a bit of contrast to your image it looks more uh, cinematic which is why i always do this particular node so now itself you have pretty much everything ready uh, but to really make it look cinema like uh, this is where the next four notes come so the so once all this is done then you bring in your color grade or your lut you can put in any grade uh, for this example i have showed my own lut so if you want to use i will leave a link in the description now fun fact if you guys want to check out my lut uh, it's available for free for 20 users so all you have to do is just click the link below and type in FENZ100 to avail 100% discount on the LUT. Uh, but please note it's only available for the first 20 people. So check it out and you can play with it. Uh, and if you like it, you can recommend to others as well. But again, you can use any LUT here. Once that's done, if you think that it's too dark, again, you can come here and, you know, uh, let me just disable editable splines. If you think it's too dark, you can just maybe raise your exposure. Uh, okay, so once that's done, I've left this node final look. This is mainly for skin tones. If you feel, if you find that uh, anything is off, I try to adjust here. So in this particular node, I have uh, I have changed the contrast to you know 1.2. You can leave it as per your liking. I have raised the contrast to a little bit here, you know, to really make the image pop. But it's also in this note, you know, I do all other minor tweaks. Like suppose if a person is involved here and if the skin tone looks off, I come to this particular waveform and, you know, you bring in the settings, show skin tone indicator. That is this line. So I make sure that, you know, the skin is always aligned on this line. It doesn't go too much to the side, you know, it, it lies on or towards the right of this particular line. So this node is basically for that, you know, to do minor tweaking in the end. So once this is done, uh, then what I do is sharpening because i leave the sharpening in the camera off because it looks very digital so that i can you know do the sharpening here in editing so to do the sharpening you come to this particular setting here and select the second one the second one is for sharpening and i leave it at 0.48 or 0.47 it's between these two if i bring it more down you know the image looks more sharp and fake so i always leave it at 0.47 to 0.48 in that range so in this case i've left it at 0.48 now this particular node is again optional uh, this is a film emulator plugin so i use uh, dehancer pro for this what it does is you can add in film grain halation and all other things it's an optional uh, node. Uh, I have done uh, altogether separate video on Dehancer Pro. So if you want to check it out, 
uh, i will leave it uh, in the description so this particular note makes everything look like it's shot on a cinema camera you can see the grains and everything and that red halation that happens so all this is achieved using this dehancer now if you want to check out the plugin you can use my coupon code FENZ to avail the 10% off uh, this is not a sponsored video but I regularly use their plugin and uh, you know it's it's really amazing I use it for all my videos so there you have it eight notes now uh, if you want to see like for another shot like this I can just right click apply grade and if I feel anything is out of place I can come to exposure I think the exposure is too much here so I can just let me bring the waveform I can just lower the mid tone like this rest everything looks pretty awesome so again let me just disable everything and show you so again the first step color space transform so it converted the log format to the standard format once that's done i fix the white balance you can fix the white balance you know bringing the tool from here and press to something that's white once you are happy with the white balance i adjust the exposure i bring the image uh, to somewhat in the middle make sure that nothing gets about this level and nothing goes below this level once that's done i add in the contrast uh, the s curve like you see here a slight s curve once that's done the lut the lut itself you know pops your uh, footage and makes it cinematic then i add in the final look i've added a bit contrast again here then the sharpening and finally the film emulation plugin i know it's been a while since i've posted videos because uh, you know i've been really busy but uh, i think i'm back so that's pretty much it for this video if you guys are new here i'm fenzer i do travel tech and filmmaking on this channel so if you're into that sort of stuff please consider hitting the subscribe button thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next one